It's really an honor for me to be here today and speak to you all because this is a, I'm very passionate about this. I've seen this work and it's very a very, very simple thing. There's been $5 million that's been proposed to the communities and schools. And you may think, well, gosh, that's so much money. What are we going to do? You know, but we need to, um, the funding of every school that we go into needs to have a site coordinator in that school. Uh, Deborah is like our chairman for our whole committee, and she oversees everything for communities and schools. But under her, and then all the schools that we're in, whether it be Wyoming um, West Side or whether it be Wyoming East, we're just in West Side right now. But we need to have a coordinator in every school, which we do right now. So to pay them, and they need to be paid because we need to, for them to be responsible. And it's it's a very nice job, a very demanding job. We need to um, training for the support staff for the program. We need to try to encourage the families to get involved in this. Because right now, as you know, in everything that we're doing, absenteeism from schools is just the greatest thing that we have. So some way we have to get with the parents and just get them to get on board with us and get the children to school. Um, the national communities in schools uh, are working very closely with us to tell us what direction that we need to go to. Right now, this coming year, we want to expand to 15 or 20 more schools. Um, in these schools, they'll receive like a three-year grant that we're uh, proposing, that we have in the other counties right now. Our goals in the expansion is to reduce the, the absenteeism in schools, to improve the family engagement with the children, and improve their college readiness, whether it be to go to college or, like I just stated, to technical school or get them so that they'll have some uh, purpose in life or a job in life and for sure have increased the graduation rate. Um, we plan, as I said earlier, to have a uh, coordinator in school to, that is paid, a paid person in the school to help provide this for the students to, in tutoring, mentoring, in physical or mental health services and just their basic needs. There are some children that, you know, uh, we have to kind of go back to the simplicity of basic needs for kids. Uh, we still have the clothing, food, and shelter that's still a huge problem that we want to be there to help. And these are things that we can help with as well. Um, our goal is after three years for all of these schools to be financially stable on themselves. And that's why we need to get them involved in the community so much. We need like uh, grants, we need businesses, we need people to sponsor this and get involved in it. And we have a good response right now from like our educators and also from the business communities that are really working with us and becoming involved in it. And also maybe we can get federal um, Title I funding. And so we're just looking at every resource that we can. We want to get as many people involved as we can. And it's just really a simple thing. You go to these schools and it doesn't matter whether we're in Berkeley County or if we're in Wyoming County, McDowell, Greenbrier County or Raleigh County, all these kids have the same basic needs. We have the same problems. It doesn't matter if we're, we're located geographically, but we want to get in here and we've just, we're just having a wonderful response and we, we want you all to be on board with us and let you know that we're genuinely trying and we're gonna make a difference in these children's lives. And we just want a good graduation grade and we want, right, and we want everyone to feel good about themselves.